Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day and every day I'm shuffling and I'm really excited today because I've bought myself, I've treated myself to Radley Valentine's new deck of cards, the Sword of Light, Archangel Michael Oracle love this deck, it's gorgeous, I'm going to be using this in the horoscope readings for the week ahead beautiful deck so i'm going to bring in this card these cards i'm going to shuffle these and i'm really excited because you know all the sagittarius energy is bringing in real power and creative energy and you know motivation to get things done and i've created a new deck of cards this is four over the last week so this is called a journey to union oracle and it is available to buy it's a deck of 100 cards just messages about the twin flame journey so, you know, things that we are going through, experiencing, things that you need to know, things that they are feeling and, you know, the angels want you to know about what's happening between you, to move you into union. And when I created this deck, I was going to put a, a journey to twin flame union, but the angels are like, no, it's a journey to union. It's a journey to inner union and outer union, to permanent union. And that's why we've got the stag, because there is a symbol of that. And in this deck as well, you know, the link is in the description box. You can go and check out, you know, the preview of the eight cards they show you on there. But there's one wild card in there as well. And that means there is a card that is different than all the other cards. That if you pull that card out in your reading, that's something massive and magical for you. So very powerful deck. I can't wait to review it. And when it comes, I'm going to be giving one away. So I am getting ready to do, you know, a December giveaway by forging all these these decks of cards I'm creating and there is another one I'm working on I should have that finished by the end of the week or you know by next week so I'll let you know but that's the real powerful one I'm working on right now and I feel that you're going to really enjoy that one too so we're going to bring in this gorgeous deck then the sword of light oracle what do we need to know so thank you angels what's the energy please around the connection today what's the energy please around the connection today here we go and the energy around the Divine Feminines, the energy around the Divine Feminines, the energy around the Divine Feminine. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? A lot of thinking going on here. And the energy around the Divine Masculine today. There we go. Wow, okay. So before I start the cards, and there's a card moving on the top of the mask in there, just want to talk a little bit about Archangel Michael. You know, if you're new to the channel or you don't really know much about the angels, you may be wondering who he is and what he does. Now, Archangel Michael is probably one of the most powerful archangels there is. You know, he is the divine helper. He's strong. He's powerful. He brings in clarity. He helps us to move forward with force and integrity to speak our truth. He gives us strength when we need it. He is the powerhouse of heaven. You know, if I was going to really think of a superhero that Archangel Michael resembles, it would be Thor, you know, or maybe Aquaman, but Thor, strong, powerful. He is the angel that comes to you in times of need. You may not know he's there, but he's around you and he's giving you the strength to carry on, to fight on to get back up on your feet when you struggle he gives you power and when i started this channel he gave me a huge vision of four ships from all four corners of the globe all over the world coming together here to connect and prepare for union and become strong and to embody the power of unconditional love and that's really what Archangel Michael helps you with on your journey. He gives you physical strength and he gives you spiritual strength. You know, there's been many a times when before union, you know, when I was single, I needed physical strength to carry bags. You know, if I went shopping and you know what it's like if you go shopping and you're carrying lots of bags, you need the strength sometimes to even just carry those bags. He gives you the physical strength. I've called on him to help me open a jar if I've been struggling to open things. And he gives you this boost of strength. He even can send other people to help you with these things. You know, a right person comes at the right time, let me help you with your bag. That's happened to me when I've gone away somewhere. 
Hey, if I've gone away on my own, I've had a heavy case and I've needed to walk up or downstairs at the exact right moment because I've called an Archangel Michael. Someone's come out of nowhere and said, let me carry your case for you. Amazing how Archangel Michael sends in that physical support you need. So if you're needing emotional help, then he'll guide you to someone who can help you. Maybe that you've been guided to this channel today or these readings really resonate with you. And that's Archangel Michael giving you the human support that you need on a spiritual level. So he gives you as well strength from within. So we learn on this journey, especially as a divine feminine, that our power comes from within us and above us. Why? Because we are always connected with source, the creator where we've come from. Because we are human, yes, but we are a spiritual being having that human experience. And also, he helps you to connect with yourself because you are one with your twin flame. And you are one with everything. You are one with everything and everyone there ever was, ever will be, and ever is. It's very powerful energy. So Archangel Michael helps you to remember your power and to harness that power and be true to yourself and to carry on and to know that wherever you go whatever you do is by your side you're not alone you are not alone he may show you beautiful blue colors like this one or beautiful radiant deep purple colors he may show you swords of light in the sky through clouds or energy he may show you feathers. He may send you a blue feather. There's many, many ways Archangel Michael connects with you. And once you allow him into your life, anything is possible. So with God, all things are possible. But God created the archangels to be with you. And archangels are non-denominational. That means they can be with everyone at the same time. God designed them that way because they push past, you know, boundaries and, and limitations and all aspects of space and time. So you're never taking Archangel Michael away from another by calling on him for help. And you will have called on Archangel Michael for help and so will your twin without even realising it. Give me strength. Have you ever said that? I need strength. Help me. Help. That's calling on Archangel Michael. A simple prayer when we ask for guidance, but the right angel will flow in. And don't think you've got to call an Archangel Michael directly. He hears your prayers. The angels hear you. That's why they were created by God. That's why God designed them to help you. They are messengers of him to help and assist you. That's what they're here for. So powerful energy. So Archangel Michael is there to help you carry on. To find the strength to carry on when you feel like you can't go on. When you feel like you're alone and lost and this journey is breaking you. He puts you back together and he walks in front of you, shielding your way. And he moves out of the way obstacles. You know, obviously Archangel Nathaniel, Lord Ganesh do these things too. But it's like he's walking in front of you with this beautiful sword of light, cutting away all, you know, the, think about when you go into a forest and you've got overgrown brambles and, you know, all these things, you know. He's cutting them out of the way so they don't hurt you. So the thorns don't go in you and cause you more pain. He's with you wherever you go. You can call on him to shield you. There's nothing more powerful than calling on Archangel Michael to shield you if you're going through anything. If you feel like you've been attacked psychically by black magic or the karmic partner or anything else. He will shield you and nothing gets past his sword and his shield. So it's like people may be throwing things at you energetically. Imagine invisible knives and swords and bows and arrows, you know, because they're, they're sending psychic attack to you. But you have a force field around you. A lot like when you see in films, you know, you see like Independence Day or a film with, you know, a, a spaceship and they've got that force field and people firing at the, the spaceship, but it's nothing's happening. That's what happens when Archangel Michael is shielding you. And if you want him to cut cords of fear around a situation, he will use his sword of light to do that. You can never cut cords of love. Okay, so if you think, I want to cut the cord with my twin flame, I've had enough. You can't do that. Why? Because you were one. You can't cut cords with yourself. So why would you be able to cut cords with your twin? 
But what you can do is ask Archangel Michael to cut the cords of fear around the situation, the struggle around the situation, so that you feel at peace and free and alive again and in the energy of love. So he cuts away all that fear and all that struggle and all that pain. So you feel alive and vibrant and ready for what's to come. He helps you to see clearly, to see past the pain, to see through the pain. So Archangel Michael brings in everything you need at the right time. So the energy around the connection today, take control of your thoughts. So he's saying to you between now and the end of this month, it's very important that you take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. Now, you know, it's really powerful because yesterday I used the, that deck of cards by Lucy Cavendish. And on the back of the card was the locked door, you know, the keyhole. And I feel this is the key to your heart. Well, this is the key that's unlocking that door today. So Archangel Michael is saying, your thoughts have power. Sometimes we don't realize how powerful our thoughts are, but we are creators. We were made in God's image by God and God is a creator. So we are co-creators of our universe, of our life. We're like many creators of our reality and we can create big things. So your thoughts, the things you think about today are creating your tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow because it will take care of itself. The universe has got you, but your thoughts are creating things. That's your power. If you go there in the mind, you will go there in the body. So make sure you are focusing on the outcome that you truly desire. And this is about unwavering faith. And I spoke about the energy of Sagittarius being powerful anyway, because it's helping us to create and make things happen. But also what's it doing? It's opening doors. It's giving magical energy. It's bringing in fire energy, the energy of the archer. And the archer has a bow and arrow and a target to hit. That's the outcome. And the vision is taking aim on that target. And you look at that target and it doesn't matter what's going on around you. Nothing can make you stop hitting that target. So remember, it's all coming to you in divine timing. It's almost over. I love this. This is saying whatever you've been going through, whatever struggles you've been going through, they are almost over. The karmic situation is almost over. This year is almost over. So enjoy the day. And trust that your journey is taken care of. Your current challenges will soon be resolved. And you will be able to look to the future with a smile. Look to the future now with a smile. Because the doors are opening for you. Take control of your thoughts. Remember who you are. And the masculines are doing this too. You know, they realise that they don't want to be wallowing in self-pity or negativity. They want to be strong. They want to be brave. They want to be courageous and make things happen in their life. And I feel this is a bit like they're showing me in my mind Big Ben when, you know, the clock in London, when it bongs in the new year. So this is us really preparing now for the new year, especially with the 31 energy there. I'm seeing this as New Year's Eve. Take control of your thoughts because there's a new year ahead and special times. So the energy around the divine feminine is you're ready for more. You're ready for more. You want more. You want this physical relationship in the physical, you know, in the physical sense. You want to be living life. You want to get married. You may want to have children. You want more. You want that flower to bloom. And you're growing and blooming. And now is the time. And this is also being ready for more in your life. More money, more success, more opportunities, a different career, something more aligned with service. Maybe you are ready now. You're getting ready for the dream to come true. And that's what I feel 2023 is bringing in. And, you know, the water rabbit is giving you this message coming in, in in January saying everything you want, everything you desire, everything you've been asking for in the previous year is to come. So in 2022, you've been doing your work and manifesting and creating your dreams. You're going to see the rewards coming in in 2023 and 2024. It says your career is growing and blossoming and now is the time to make the changes that you have been contemplating. So I definitely feel that some of you divine feminines are really contemplating changing your job or career. 
to work on service and maybe this is something you wanted to do in 2022 but it didn't happen that way because it's being prepared for 2023 you know everything happens at the right time if you've got a website the clients will find you at the right time if you've got a youtube channel you know your messages will receive views at the right time everything happens in divine timing to bring it in when you're ready for it you know i know that with this channel you know I know that before, before union especially, I wasn't quite ready. It's because I wasn't quite ready to give the messages out, but now I am. And if you go back to my early days on this channel, you can see how different I channel. Because it's like the angels have now embodied me with this power. Because it's the right time. And it's the same for you, whatever you're wanting to do, creating your life and your union itself will happen in divine timing and you're ready for this now this i feel this is, an, is a sign a prediction an omen of 2023 that the doors are opening so between now and then it's very important and pivotal and crucial that you keep your thoughts uplifted your vibration high and focusing on what you want so if you're constantly focusing on the karmic situation where you're doing it in a negative way and thinking the happy and you know poor me, I'm not with them and all these things, then that's been in the victim mentality that attracts more victim consciousness and pain. But if you're thinking that karmic partner is serving me because I'm learning through them and they are helping my twin to evolve and grow and be ready for me, then you're in your power. So you can watch any reading because it's not going to affect your vibration. The energy of the masculine, look at this, be honest with yourself. And we've got the number five for change. So change is occurring in their life because they are now beginning to be honest. And again, they just made me gnash my teeth together, connected with decisions. They are being very honest with themselves to make the right decisions. And guess who's helping them do that? Archangel Michael. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and then let source take it from there. So they are in the energy of acceptance as we move towards this new year because they know full well what they need to change and pray from the heart. This is so beautiful. Pray from the heart. Prayer really can move mountains. Now look at the number. We've got 23. So prayer is going to help them move towards 2023 with help and support they need with their you know, connection with source and heaven. And I feel they have someone around them in heaven, possibly a grandmother or even a mother energy, but I feel a grandmother helping them. It says, reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. So the masculines are giving it to heaven more. You may not be aware of that, but they are doing this. Even if they're doing this in dreams or in the subconscious mind, they are calling in the power to make changes, the power, we don't even know the power of our own voice sometimes, or our own, our own, you know, energy, they're calling in the power to make changes, so the message here is very clear, Archangel Michael around both twins, bringing in power and strength to move forward together as we move into 2023, I hope this helps, have a great week, a great day, and I'll see you soon.